Good morning beekeepers. I've just arrived at the forest bee yard. There's lots of tall trees around here. It doesn't get quite enough light, but we're going to deal with it anyway. And today I'm going to do some oxalic acid treatment. I'm going to use both the wand, the traditional wand, and also the Larobi's vaporizer. The wand looks like this. And the Larobi's looks like this. I dropped everything, but that's okay. It has a little measuring thing, goes uh, zero to six device, oxalic acid powder. Goes in there like that. And this here is a DeWalt 20 volt, five amp hour battery that I'm going to be using with it. I'm not sponsored by any of these products, but I just wanted to show you what I'm going to do. So the first thing we do is start our smoker. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we have the smoker going. Let's do a little oxalic acid treatment. Now this is the hive I'm gonna treat first. As you can see, it's got a little entrance reducer, so I'll have to take that out first. And I can just slide my wand right in there. And what I gotta do now is hook it up to the car and maybe do a test run to see how long it takes for the oxalic acid to burn off. We'll do that now and see how it works. So now I've measured out the amount, four milligrams from an oxalic acid. I've got two deeps here, so it's two milligrams each. That's what I understand is the rec recommended amount. Don't go by what I say, read your instructions. That's what's important to do. So let me uh, turn the battery, the, let me turn the camera around and we'll put it on the car here and see if we can't there we go might be a little fuzzy but basically I've already hooked up the ground wire and I'll just hook this other up to the hot we put that on there there it should start to smoke let's turn it around the camera again and see what happens. Nothing's happening. I wonder why. Come on. Let's not have a good connection. Huh. That's strange. Oh, there we go. So it took a little while to get started. So let's just time it. I'll get my camera, my timer here. And... Uh, let's see, we'll start right there. So right now I've got it set for one minute. So as you can see, didn't make a good connection at first, but now it's working. Now I haven't put on my mask because I'm off away from it. This is one thing you can do with that. So basically, it's, once it started, we're down at uh, about 40 seconds now. We're coming. A little closer, a little closer, a little closer, and we're just about done. So if I leave it in uh, about 40, well, no, I think we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. We're still going, still going, still smoking. For me to do that. We're almost to a minute. There's still a little residue in there. I don't want it to burn my beehive, so that's one minute there. So I think uh, we're pretty good right now. I could probably unplug it. No, it's still boiling away. So it's going to take probably about two minutes. To be completely burned out. You don't want to leave it in too long because you'll burn your bottom board. But as you can see, we're about done in two minutes. Yeah, I think two minutes is a good time. So we'll get ready now and pull our entrance out and put the wand in. And there we go. Let me disconnect it. So now we're disconnected, ready for the next one. So next I'll get some water in a pail so we can have it to do 
Now on this one I'm going to do a little differently. I'm going to go ahead and put my gear on because, well, I don't want to get gassed. So I have a, a mask here that's a 3M, uh, let's see, a 60923. Not sponsored by these tools. So, but I want to show you. I put them on like that. Now I'm going to be a little muffled. And this goes on like this. It's sometimes a little hard to get on, but I'll get on a second. Okay, now I also wear my goggles. I don't need these, but just in case. I don't know, I feel safer with them. So, now, first thing I want to do is hook up my battery. So, before you turn this on, just slide that in there. And now it actually decides, okay, something's working here. So now, I flip over the switch, and it's going to heat up. Hopefully. Yes, it's starting to heat up. The number's starting to go up further. In the meantime, while that's doing that, I'm going to put my gloves on. I'm going to pull that extent entrance. I'm going to pull that entrance reducer out. Again, just because I don't like getting stung, I also need to pull my hat off. But, so yeah, I don't want them guys to get mad at me. These are very gentle this morning, but sometimes they do get mad. When I'm pulling that entrance reducer out, they don't like that very well. I'll give them a little bit of smoke. It should be good in just a second. Let them think about it. There's one outside already. I'm just pull that out. Lay that on the ground. He doesn't know what to think. Now. I want to pull the plunger out. Uh-oh. Something not happened here. Now we're heating up. Now that's heating up. I take the plunger out. Oh, that's an empty jar. Let's get another jar. It's heating up. And while that's happening, I'll pull my plunger here. And stick that in there. And when it gets to 430 degrees, we'll be ready to go. So right now we're at 81. I'll take one of these wet rags and put it in the entrance there. Now it's all blocked off except for where I'm put my vaporizer. Got that wet rag down there. So we should be there in a minute. I'll wait for the temperature to go up. Okay, we have 440 degrees. So now we can put this down here. And just this right in there. And hit that. And that'll cause it to vaporize. Now we just wait for that to dissipate. It won't take long. And we'll start over on this one. Let's see if we're done here. Yeah, it quit. This is the first time I've done this, but I gotta clean up my vaporizer here. It's a Roby's vaporizer for oxalic acid. I've got a 20 volt, 5 amp power DeWalt XR battery here, and I found out that there's you can test it to see there's a little button here, and you can test it and see if your battery is charged. So there's three little buttons here, and if you push these buttons, it lights up. Now it's heating up as soon as I turn it on. So I'm going to put my air breather on because there is some oxalic acid still in there. 
while that's heating up I get this on and I put this on so it's heating up at 70 degrees right now there it goes so I'm going to take this out because it's got a little oxalic gas so I'm going to burn that out a little muffled here because got this breather on but all right we're heating up and my white balance is going to change because the light's coming out I was in the shade but not anymore it took me a little longer than I expected to get this set up at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. I treated my bees yesterday and then I went to put this away and it was getting dark so I quit. So I do need to clean this out. Now we're seeing some oxalic acid coming out of there. So that's burning it out. And even though I've got this on I don't want to be in the way of it. 350. Yeah, it's burning off now. 400. Yeah, I don't want to be right in the way, in the way of that. Even though I've got the breather on, this thing's going to leak a little bit. It's not really doing it, but I don't smell it. But. Okay, it's at uh, 439. I'm going to put this in here and clean it off. So that's why when you put it right in here, if you're going to try to kill anything, if you're treating with it, that's the way it would go. I wonder if I've got that where you can see it. So, if you're going to put it in the hive, you put it right in there like that. And you push this button, pushing the oxalic acid down into it. And once it stops vaporizing, you can pull it out. So, now we want to use distilled water to clean it. So take this out. And, uh, pour a little water over it. And then here you got to be really careful because you don't want to get it into the electronics. You got to be careful not to spill it. This is where you might want to let go off the That cooled it down to 220 degrees, so we need to heat it up again. So I just realized that's an acid, so I'm getting it on top of my metal top here, so I'm going to have to wash that off without, so it won't damage it. Normally I wouldn't do that, right? So you might want to wear a pair of gloves, I guess. Since that's boiling water, water coming out of there, you might want to wear a pair of gloves to protect your hands. Like I said, this is the first time I've done this, and so it's kind of an experiment. And I figured I might as well film it. And it does take a little longer than what I've seen other people do it online. It looks like a, you just dump it in and it's nice and it just comes out there. Well, I can see that it doesn't do that. You gotta be more careful. Alright, 395 now, heading towards 440, right? And we're still boiling off that acid. Here comes the sun, so that's gonna change the bike balance. It had little clouds. It had shade to start with. It's getting later in the afternoon, in the morning, rather. It's getting later in the morning, and now I'm starting to get warmed up. 
Okay, we're at three, 438. We're 439, 440. So I'll just pull this out again. And we'll dump a little in here. Again, be very careful. Yeah, you want to wear gloves. <laughs> Boy, now that's an experiment. That's hot, too. So, hope you've learned something here watching this. I think we're done. But I will let it warm up one more time and boil all that out of there. Then once I take it apart, I'll put some oil around the O-ring so it's going to be easier to get in and out. <laughs> yeah, learn as you watch. Watch as you learn. That's what I'm doing. This little gizmo is really good for doing a quick job, though, on XIC acid. You don't have to run any batteries. You can just have it carry it from one hive to another. No problem. Well, we're just about done there. That's why you should well, probably read the instructions to make sure you got everything right, because apparently I didn't. <laughs> well, I did, but I forgot about it. I thought, I can get away without it. I don't need goggles. I don't need this. Uh, and then I decided maybe I should put the goggles and the freezer on just in case. And sure enough, it's still putting out gas. It's back up to 383. But I think we just about got it cleaned out. So we're 400 degrees. I'll let it go just a little bit more. I'm going to turn it off. 420. As you can see, we're just about boiled out, out now, so it's been cleaned up pretty good. I'll turn that off and consider it done. Except for taking this out and put a little oil around it, O ring, which I'll do later when it cools down. And I can take my battery off and recharge it. Again, use distilled water. You might not want to put it on a top like this because it'll corrode your metal. That's not a good deal. It is an acid, so that may be that. I'm sure it's going to leave a mark. Thank you. Please do subscribe.